That is the lamest top five movie list ever. Fine. What's yours? Number five, The Godfather. Number four, The Hunt for Red October. Nice. Number three, The Godfather Part Two. Yes, the sequel was better than the original. I'm not arguing. Number two, Beaches. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Beaches? Okay, like the Beaches? Starring Bette Midler? Yeah. You gave me a hard time for watching Working Girl, and Beaches is your number two movie of all time? I mean, that's like the ultimate chick flick. That's right. It's so perfect, it transcends chickdom. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. <sighs> when Barbara Hershey asked Bette Midler to raise her kids for her after she dies, that is one of the most touchy moments caught on film. <sighs> I'd want you to raise my kids after I died. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is where you'd say you want me to raise your kids after you died. That would be if I wanted you to raise my kids. You wouldn't want me to raise your kids? No. Why not? Because you're you. What's that supposed to mean? Look, nothing. I just, I don't want my kids growing up being taught how to light their farts. That's an important lesson to learn. Well, I don't want it coming from their primary caregiver. You prefer they learn it on the streets? I'd prefer they not learn it at all. You're no fun. Look, can we just get back to the topic at hand? Your top five movies. No. So that's the way you want to play it, huh? Just gonna take your toys and go home? What's your number one movie? It's a crying game, isn't it? Geely? Showgirls? It's Yentl. Totally Yentl. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. <laughs>